Irishware and Dolph Group have been contracted by Dublin Port to deliver what's called a Marine Mammal Mitigation Plan. So as part of the planning permission for Dublin Port to develop the Alexander Basin uh, redevelopment, they have to ensure there's no impact of their work on marine mammals. Dublin Bay is important for hard porpoise as a special area of conservation for them. Um, so we want to see is it going to have any effects of, on them during uh, and after construction. After months of preparation, we're finally heading out to Dublin Bay on the Rossbeg to employ some static acoustic monitoring equipment to monitor marine mammals on the Burford Bank. Fantastic project, really excited, and thank God we're out here at long last. just deployed our first uh, mooring so what it is there's a big weight on the bottom and a chain and a didema rope and attached to that rope is a sea pod uh, which is an acoustic device for logging the echolocation clicks of harbour porpoises in this area we hope to deploy four of these uh, moorings today all with pods on and it'll give us an idea of how porpoises use the bay and how that might change or not uh, during this whole um, project so this will be recovered maybe in four months time and we will download the pod and we'll get a history of use of that site by harbour porpoises and we'll actually put a new, another pod on. And we intend to continue this monitoring programme for at least six years, uh, hopefully ten years, and it'll be the longest acoustic monitoring project in the history of the state. This equipment was supplied by JASCO uh, Partners in Canada and it's called an AMAR, or Autonomous Marine Acoustic Recorder. So this equipment is recording uh, raw, raw sound files. The pods are only logging echolocation clicks. This would record whale sounds, dolphin whistles, but it's also record the, the environment. So it'll record background noise. And a lot of the background noise in Dublin Bay is caused by ships, ship traffic. It's very, very busy. So, that has an ability to mask uh, communication between whales and dolphins, but also it's, the, it's where they live. So to interpret information that we're getting from the other equipment, we need to know the environment they live in. Last uh, mooring is going in now, this has got a pod on it and we're actually quite near the channel coming into Dublin Port, um, so that's why we're monitoring this site. So at the end of the day now we have two offshore monitoring uh, locations on the Burford Bank near the dump site. We've got a AMAR noise recorder and we've got two pods inshore as well, um, both south uh, near Dunleary and north here. So we've got um, a network of monitoring uh, locations all around Dublin Bay to, uh, to see the effect of this project on the mammals. So after about four months of preparation, uh, we're finally up and running on the acoustic monitoring and uh, it's great to be working with Dublin Port because they know what they're doing. This is bread and butter to the lads, whereas it makes us quite nervous, so uh, great day. Yeah, it's very exciting. I can't wait to see the results and hopefully it won't have any effect on them and we'll have to wait and see.